Francis Mark Hyman hung onto the tree on the side of P.T. Pitor for close to 13 hours until an emergency crew was able to pluck him off the side of the mountain. A French rescue team had to be called in due to the unavailability of specialized equipment locally. After his rescue, Hyman was taken first to Victoria Hospital and then transferred to the Tapia Hospital at his parents' request. Consultant surgeon Dr. Charles Grinnett treated the young man at that hospital. His condition is remarkably good considering the ordeal he's been through. Um, essentially, he was concussed at the time and that's why he fell. Um, but currently he's fully alert and other than a few scratches is um, in very good condition. Doctors at Tapio Hospital were awaiting further test results but did not expect his condition to deteriorate. Hyman was part of a group called Semester, a semester at sea program for college students on board sailing vessels. It's facilitated here by the Sufre Marine Management Association. The general manager, Kai Wolf, says contact was made with the French but time was running out. Well, we had to make a decision <clears throat> that if the French Green Line would not come by 5.15 in the afternoon, we would try to attempt a local rescue attempt. We had a local repeller on standby. He actually was already in his harness. And we would have to get him in there and try to put the harness onto the victim have him brought out there it would have been an extremely dangerous exercise and we only wanted to do that as an absolute last resource. There was no need for that action however since the French rescue chopper came in 10 minutes before the deadline given for them to arrive. Two mountaineers and medics were part of the French team but Wolf says there was concern when the helicopter left with no one on board. We had all fears fortunately the helicopter only returned to George Charles airport to refuel and came back shortly afterwards and within a short time frame the person was lifted out of the situation. He was hanging in there from 9 o'clock in the morning, so almost 12 hours. Um, he was then brought to George Charles Airport. He was examined already by the French medical team who decided that it's okay that he will be left here in, in St. Lucia. The rescue team had to wait until dark to use night vision equipment to locate Hyman. He was transported from the mountain at 10.05 to size of relief. Hyman was discharged from Tapia Hospital Friday despite doctors' advice for him to stay overnight. He was expected to rejoin the rest of his group late Friday. Clinton Reynolds, HTS News, Channel 4.